I might not. Right. Here we go again. Oh, actually, it is working. Uh, eight thirty-five at night, Friday, the twenty-sixth of July, two zero two four. Several hours ago on the NBC network, they were doing the live feed of the opening ceremonies of the Paris Games. And I had watched most of it. You know, some of it had cooked food anyway during that time. But a few pieces I had missed. That's why I'm watching the reruns right now. It was very emotional. <laughs> it triggered a lot out of me. Uh, a great deal more than what I anticipated. And it was just... I think I found this one more uh, gut-wrenching than the other games of the past. Because I'd seen the work done. I mean, each game... Each city brings its own um, unique style of what the Olympics are, are like. <clears throat> the opening ceremonies, trying to outclass everybody else one way or another. France had made uh, Paris into a city of the opening ceremonies and it looked like portions of it into it, not just a stadium. Not everyone shoved into a stadium and just going and nodding. No, or different places along the Thames, actually, along the along the river. <clears throat> and uh, seeing the performances along it, it was just. It was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And it was just knocking me out. I was crying. I was crying. There are certain portions of this that I hadn't seen. I'm keeping an eye on. It looks like they were borrowing elements from different video games. By the way, they're Mysterious torchbearer. It was a thief somehow, masked thief, and he's going in different places in town. He's doing a cross city um, tour. Even a play regarding Les, Les, Miser uh, Les Miserables, and uh, somehow. A torchbearer got himself into the play. He's got to get himself out of it. And their basic section was liberty. And then some of the other highlights that they had in this uh, in Paris. One particular building right along the river. It was so unreal. One would have to get a DVD or, or recordings of these things or somehow, because this was just incredible to watch. It'll be on again later on this evening, early in the morning hours. But this was incredible, seeing what Paris had done. This was awesome. And throughout the whole, uh, throughout the most of the ordeal, I was crying my eyeballs out because. You had different elements in there. Talking about the history, the past. But presenting it in different musical ways. Including heavy metal. <laughs> heavy metal. And it was like black marks against the buildings. I, I hope these guys know how to get this thing scrubbed off a brick. A lot of pyrotechnics. The one thing at the end of the ceremonies of the lighting of the torch, they had the torch bearers. And I'm seeing all these Parisian athletes and former athletes, including a 100 year old athlete in a wheelchair. 
Yeah, I was crying like crazy on that one. I was definitely crying on that one. Some people may wanted to ask whether or not if I'm wearing any colors for it. No. But I've ordered a few things online. I had forgotten that the Olympics were happening at the end of July. And going to be finishing up probably the second or third week of August. That's a lot. But during that time, I've ordered a couple of items. You know, pins. Not apparel. I can't afford apparel. I'll afford the metallics. And the teddy bear. I need something for the collection anyway. I uh, reshuffled it while I was trying to get to my pins. Just seeing what I had. Not many because I remembered I needed to get more pins. At one time I had more pins a long time ago when I was collecting Olympics. And circumstances happens when you lose your collections that's the right one reason or another or get them misplaced and the only thing I had was pictures of the pins and that's about it so I'm trying to collect a few new ones but I'm also reminded that about four years from now we're going to be doing it again in Los Angeles Los Angeles is going to be doing another one like it did back in 84 only I have no clue how LA is going to be able to pull this one off. We did have, um, I think, uh, Mayor Reardon at one time was helping to pull this one off in 1984. He was part of the, no, I think it was somebody else. It was part of the uh, LA Olympic Planning Committee. And uh, they utilized several sections of the town. One of which, I'd managed to see at least just one venue. Greco-Roman wrestling out in Anaheim. My friends had gotten me a ticket and we went over to Anaheim. And we saw this. Anaheim Convention Center was the uh, venue for it. It was a qualifying match. I forgot who was playing. I know the traffic was nasty. I thought the I thought the freeways were nasty originally, but the man out of out of out of state and out of country traffic in that one. I don't know how the hell we have been able to deal with it. Now we got different transportation systems happening right now, and I'm hoping maybe they'll be able to be able to handle this one. But in the process of doing this thing, they're still trying to get the homeless off the damn street. I've already vented and screamed and yelled at different things left and right concerning about this. Different videos. Probably a low, uh, labeled as one files, or maybe I had a label something else, but I know they're in there somewhere. And because of the Supreme Court ruling that changed everything for the homeless, I'm pissed about it. They don't want the show on the streets of just how screwed up L.A. is or every other town that has to deal with the homeless populations. We have to shove them aside. And that's the horrible thing about dealing with the homeless situation. We shove them aside. Mayor Bast in Los Angeles have been trying to get some available places and services still going. I'm not quite sure if we're going to be able to do this thing or not. To tell you the truth, I don't know. We've got four years to make sure that we got a town that's going to be somewhat worthy for visitation and continuing tourism. I mean, we do have sports arenas. We have venues coming in there so often, using the convention centers. But we're talking about the Olympics coming back here to L.A., now, they had used the Coliseum a decade before the quake hit in 94. I hope they got everything else repaired and retrofitted. Coliseum's been there, I think, since the 1910s, 1920s. Maybe a little bit later than that. But it is an icon about a century old in my book. 
and managed by uh, the USC system. University of California, actually. We have USC out there. University of Southern California. And it is part of the uh, exposition parks that we have out in the Museum of Science. But it is also part of the uh, USC campus. The rings are still there. The rings are, have been there since 84. I remember watching this on television. There is a book buried in my boxes of books concerning about the 1984 Olympics, and it was a souvenir guide. It came out right after the ceremonies in, 84, in 1984. It would showed and talked about different places that people could visit. Well, things have changed since 1984. They want to have people to go over to Universal Studios Hollywood. Well, it's changed a hell of a lot. Disneyland and every other place has been changed a great deal. Uh, give me one quick minute, all right? I got buried somewhere else. I don't know where I put my souvenir book at. I'm going to have to tear this place apart for it. I lived in the San Fernando Valley between 68 and 2005. So yeah, there was a lot of history I lived through. I just hadn't said anything much about the Olympic history because I hardly had anything else to talk about it. It hit. We had people all over the place. We had a velodrome. I didn't even realize we actually had in an area. I've been past it many times, but just never seen the thing in, in the first place. Velodrome is one oval loop for bicyclists, enthusiasts to really race it out. Parks would be jammed up with places. There had been a a couple of universities, that even Dodger Stadium being used uh, for Olympic venues. Whatever they could manage, they were managing all over the place. And I was just going through summer vacation. I should have graduated back in 84, but I wasn't. I was graduating in 85, so I just completed 11th grade. Twice. And uh, it's back on again. I just want to hear it again. Uh, I got to put you on pause again one more time. I got to get the DVD to series to these things. I mean, the opening ceremonies and the closing ceremonies, yes, they are spectacular when you see these Olympic uh, situations happening here. I can honestly tell you that one particular Olympics, the 96 at Atlanta, well, they had an issue. They had an issue. And the issue was, okay, well, well now we got uh, torches been lit and we had fires going on and he disappears. No, back in 96, there was a guy with a major malfunction. And somehow there was a bomb threat made and carried out. Garbage can blew. Well, I bet the security guard was mistakenly blamed for it and then found out he was innocent. But his life wasn't the same after that. Once well, you get labeled a terrorist, it's kind of hard to get that thing out of your mouth or had a public perception at that point. But that was the thing, wasn't it? 
they were talking about it uh, when it happened. But after it happened, it's a different story altogether. Yeah, there was more security beefed up even during the Winter Games. But that one really scared the hell out of people left and right. And this is well before 9-11 kicked. I forgot what the uh, guard's name was at the time. I probably would find it on Wikipedia or another, another page for it, but... Uh, I just didn't, uh, I'm not going to put it out there. Before I lost a lot of my pin collection a long time ago, I had collected a number of Olympic pins. Sometimes things happen in life that you have no absolutely zero control over, and you lose stuff that you are fond of, and used a great deal. That's what I did. That's what I had. So now, I'm collecting pieces here and there. If I can find them, I'll get them. If not, well, then okay. It's not a major concern, but you know, sometimes when I get into a pin finish, I like collecting metal pieces of metal so I can slap it on a, on a vest and show it to people. A long time ago, I used to be a pin fanatic heavily. Even traded when I could. Hell, you gotta see me at Disneyland. Few nondescript pins and start looking for the people with bandoliers with better looking pins and start doing the swapping. And sometimes it starts off with an ugly looking pin that you buy, or two or three just to get the process on And when you see something that you like, I'm sorry, do you want to relinquish that, please? I mean, if you can find a thing, that's one thing, but if you can actually do something else, that's a different story altogether. So, for the most part, I haven't shown my patriotism concerning about this. I wish I had USA shirts. And I could be really going crazy on the patriotism, but I haven't. Not yet, anyway. Not yet. I'm still watching the uh, the first repeat of the opening ceremony. The mysterious masked face who's seeing a lot of characters leaving pictures and portraits in the Loire. And they're heading over towards the Olympic areas just to see what's going on. And right behind them is our assassin, or assassin-like guy, from the games of Assassin's Creed, watching nations drift by. And they're still continuing with the alphabetics. Cyprus is next. You know what amazed me during this show when I was watching this? How many riverboats they got out there? They got individualized riverboats, largest down to the smallest dinghies, apparently. It seemed the smallest ones they got. And a lot of them are trying to squeeze as many people as they can on the boats uh, to show, show off the uh, donations. You know, a small dinghy here and there. If you had maybe about five or six athletes. That's about it. You were lucky enough. But you had more than 20 or 30, you'd get the bigger boats. And then they scrunch you up with other other uh, countries in there. And you know what I liked? Every time I kept looking at the athletes, it's always these snazzy polo jackets that they wear all the time. I kept thinking to myself, I wish I had the money to afford that kind of stuff. I mean, don't Gym jackets are snazzy, and, and during the rain that they actually had out there, I'm not quite sure about the glasses of that actually. I mean, the, uh, the, the three, uh, the five rings, sunglasses. It's just, and I'm watching all this stuff. 
And I still like the jackets. I mean, they got a patch over here for the U.S. team. And then they had the polo. Very snazzy. Very, and very almost businesslike. But, you know, it's still way out of my budget. Way out of my budget. I can't deal with that one. <laughs> I can only get the pieces of metal to slap on me and collect that way. Or if I get a beer, maybe with Olympic theme on it. Speaking of which, a long time ago, when I worked for an insurance company, they had a blue name on it for the state of California. But this corporation kept buying out everybody else until somebody back east bought their ass and then changed a whole lot of things within about a year or two. And then you know, people lost jobs. People lost their minds. I lost my mind and my job. But during the time when they had the 2000 Olympics, I was hearing rumors that somebody else actually had or had a way of selling company-sponsored Olympic stuff, and I wanted it so damn badly I couldn't find it. Found the person, contacted them, but no connection made. I didn't even a money drop or anything. I was like, I mean, it pissed me off. I saw some of the pins they had on, over there. Uh, if I was lucky enough, I'd go on eBay and see something, and I did. Last of a kind that I'd never see again, except as a picture. But I ordered it, and the bear, which was also last of its kind representing the company I worked for. So it's going to take it a couple of weeks to get over here. Maybe a week and a half. I'm lucky enough. So maybe before the opening, uh, before the closing ceremonies, I'll be able to show that off when I get it. Just to prove, yes, I am patriotic. And it does hold some memories. Because of the name and the company, the corporation that it was sponsored. And it was a lot of corporations sponsoring uh, Team USA a great deal. There's a lot of corporate sponsors out there. I'm just not quite sure what our corporate sponsors are these days, what we're dealing with. And what surprised me that Team USA has finally ex decided to accept other other cars, except uh, they still do Amex. But no, they wanted Visa all the time because that was their direct preferred card. I couldn't deal with that. Are you kidding me? I can't get Visa as much as I want it. But things happen, right? No, I'll just get something else for that matter. That's all. What I need to find out is when I get back over here to the regular Olympics. I want to get the Ralph Lowen stuff. I mean, I really do. That is cool, nice, and way out of my damn price range. Even the polo shirts are out of my damn price range. I know, if you had credit cards, you could pay out the stuff, right? If I could. I don't think I'd be able to afford it. Maybe just socks. Or maybe, t no, barely t-shirts. With the Ralph Lauren name on it. With the polo. Oh, good lord. You know what it makes me feel? Cheaper than anything else to trying to support people left and right. What I want to do, what I want to know, is who are the corporate sponsors for Team USA. Because I'd like to know. Who are the sponsors? And for me, it's a it's important. Not knowing about just the company itself, but just I'm trying to see if one particular entity is still out there. And I want to be, I want to understand it. Okay, Team USA sponsors, here we go. No, I don't want you. Get off my damn thing. Thank you very much. Worldwide Partners. 
Airbnb. How about that one? Coca-Cola. Well, I got a Coke in there. I can drink that one. Panasonic. They're still alive. P&G. Okay, well, Omega. Time pictures. Samsung, Toyota, and Visa. Official partners, Comcast and Delta. Well, you need transportation. And Comcast is still NBC, so they're still doing that stuff. How about Cisco for the systems? Fanatics for the for the memorabilia. Google for the information out there. Lily, I have no idea what the hell that is about. Polo for, and Nike for the uh, outfits and shoes. Uh, footwear. Special supporters. Dickies also. So. Hershey's. Well, they got to have food, uh, food people in there. Guild. I don't know who the hell you are. Licensees for accessory bags. Chubbies. I don't want chubbies. I want bears. Uh, big scrumps. GK lines. Oh, chubbies of swimwear. Accessory bags. Well, Warner Brothers. Backpacks, computer bags, snow bags. That kind of stuff. Hallmark. Ornaments, greeting cards with peanuts on it. Peanuts as in uh, Charles Schultz's characters a long time ago. And they're still doing the uh, parade of the boats. I already missed the, uh, I already missed that bad assassin guy. He already disappeared. Nobody else knows about him. Nike, yeah. Uh, Ralph Lauren. Well, we know about Ralph Lauren. Trying to find the places I do know. Staple promotional products. Team Fan Shop. Fanatics on that one. Tops, which does the trading cards and card games. We know about that one. Windcraft. Not quite sure. Wristband. Oh, that was license and C's. Learning provider. Medical partners. There we go. UFE Health, Stedman Research, Texas Children's Hospitals, University of Utah, Colorado Center, Orthopedic, Lake Placid Medical, Adria, Ad, Adriana, uh, yeah, them. Adirondack Health, yes. UCI Health Memorial Hospital, and Allegheny Health Network. Well, I guess Blue Cross has had formed somewhere else and no longer part of the medical partners. But they're not medical partners. They're health insurance. So I keep wondering who the health insurance for these guys are in the first place. Probably the Allegheny Health Network and UCI Memorial Hospital, maybe. Hmm. Because a long time ago, I used to work for Blue Cross California, which used to be, well, actually it turned out to be well point. It turned out to be somebody else from back east. The old building had been shut down for about almost 10, 15 years when I left it. I mean, they, they were going to be shutting down, transferring operations to different places overseas, not to mention up in different states. Not back east. People lost jobs. Lost contact with a lot of them. Some of forced retirements. Others just out out laid off and that was about it. You're gone, your history. That yeah, ticked me off. While I'm watching this, they're still having rain out there. My God, I wish we had the rain out here. That would have been something. we get rid of all these damn fires going on. Okay, that being said, next couple of weeks I should be able to get some uh, Olympic stuff. Hey, it may be little tidbits for some other people, but you know what? 
it's all I can afford, and I'm not going to stress over the damn thing. This will piss people off if I happen to say this. Viva la France. Well, there's sponsors over there right now for the games. Viva Liberty. Viva America. I know, it should have been first, right? Does that make me a Frenchie? You know, that kind of language right there is discrimination. It's discriminatory and lousy. Apologies out there. A long time ago, that language was used. It probably still is these days. Probably as an insult to the French people. I am just amazed of how many river boats France was actually able to scrounge up from the tiniest to the large stream river boats. Good lord, these things are huge. Okay, whenever you get a chance and you happen to watch this thing, just. I am astonished of the Marine Flotilla going up the Seine. And right now they got Great Britain going through. It's going to be lasting another two more hours on this one. And trust me, there are two hours that you will not get back. Because you don't want to get it back. Okay? It, it, is that... Oh, you got to watch this damn thing. You really got to do but the other thing I'm really going to hate is all they're plugging for the Peacock Network. I'll get highlights and that's about it, but I won't get to see some of the games anyway. No, because they'll be on streaming channels and I have to shell out an arm and leg for that damn thing. That really pisses me off. Money, 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 money made up you one way or another. That's the one thing I really can't stand, corporate sponsorships, but one way or another you're going to get money out of you. Either by souvenir, by hook, or by crook, they'll get money out of you. 